my way to the borderline Looking up towards the friendly skies Everything that I thought I had Taken right before my eyes oh, yeah. Give me faith, give me love, cause I need it Show me grace, make me strong, let me feel it Where to go, can I walk to redemption Don't know how we will be okay But I'll find a way Said I'll find a way Don't know how we will be okay But I'll find a way Do you remember back when we used to play? Do you remember when you put me in my place? You remember when you told me I should go and I left you fighting all alone. I see the writing so no The gunshot was still going on, shooting is going on. I can't tell really how we reached here. It was so difficult, so terrible. All the heavy machines, all the military tanks, all the people that were around, they are just shooting. We become the victim of the po politics. We are just ordinary civilians. Mm. So I came yesterday from Juba. We fled due to the crisis which have happened in South Sudan. So we are fearing actually. This is why we have tried to at least adjust ourselves to the border of Kenya. Actually, we are not involved in the fightings because we are civilians, but the bullets are bypassing us during the crossfire. What did you eat on the way? We are still under the trees, as you have seen other people. So we just live under the tree, no houses. And then many people, they are sick here. They are here and vomiting. So, and you know what, in a place where people are congested, there's no latrines, so people they could just go and around the bush, and then from there, they spread the disease. So. Today we are in our skirt of Juba, a place called uh, Gumbo, and uh, we are here for a very important uh, exercise.
emergency action team uh, volunteers. We specialize uh, train emergency response team, which are mainly tasked to, to, to save life during uh, emergencies. And uh, today this scenario is uh, a practical uh, exercise for them to, 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 to show how to respond during emergencies. The very common emergencies that we, we encounter in, in South Sudan in general is like is very practical to this exercise we did today, like the communal fight. As a result of this, you can see people are injured at the outcome of the fighting, and we have to respond. Like if somebody is stabbed or shot with uh, with a gun, or if he's also uh, wounded with any of the local uh, weapons, uh, with fractures, with bleeding, with wounds, all these different cases, the volunteers are provided with the skills on how to manage. What we have seen in the country in December, this is a typical example that the country was in, uh, in, in, in fights and uh, the number of people casualties were injured on the streets. So the emergency action team are the one in most cases responding to these situations of violence. We are neutral, we don't have anything to do with politics, we are much concerned about the human life, we are here to save life during emergencies and this is I think very important that people have to understand. I think it's very important uh, during peacetime to disseminate about the mandate of uh, the Red Cross movement in general so that we are allowed access during, uh, during crisis. I really find joy when, you, when you're offering support to somebody who is more vulnerable and you feel like you're risking life and saving life. That is a, a big reward to us in, 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 in society without the volunteers. is like a factory without machines. Volunteers are the assets and they are the, 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 the human resource that normally carry the activities of national society. So without the volunteers, uh, there's nothing called the movement really, the Red Cross movement. They tried to do it on their own and they couldn't do it because no water. And now we are bringing the water to them and next year their life would be changed. When I went back to U.S., I said I should do something to help my dad and other people who are in the same situation as well. And that's where I formed a non-profit organization called Water for Sudan. That's why I'm here today. These people don't have anything and they need someone, one person, just a little thing to open a door to them to go to the, to the next level where they would be able to change their own life by themselves.
I don't want any other kid to die because of this simple disease. Make sure you guys build a school over here by the well. That is the goal for us. Everywhere we have the well, make sure the community contribute to build a school in there. My name is John. I'm one of the teachers. And our school now is start. As you see, without borehole, the school will not be here. But with borehole, the school will be established. Maybe one of these child would be going to this school. Might change the world someday. Yeah, but she said he likes to eat a like to be a doctor, I guess. Just that alone, having a borehole and having a school, is a great seed for the official world. When I came here, there were few houses here, and this market wasn't here. This market is blooming here. It's because of that well. Without well, no one, you, could, you wouldn't find anyone here in the dry season. It would be just a ghost place. When I came back, I was amazed by what they did. Regardless of your culture, tribal, and religious belief, it is all about humanity. Every morning, I'm up before the sun. Three times a day, I walk two miles to fetch water for my sister, my grandmother, and me. <coughs> While I walk, I dream of going to school. I dream of becoming a doctor. My name is Violet and I'm Zambia. Zambia is my home and I know how deeply it is hurting. Every day, more than 1,600 children under the age of five die from diarrhea caused by unsafe drinking water. That's more than AIDS and malaria combined. <laughs> Me <laughs> World Vision has launched the most ambitious water program of its kind. Can you tell her yeah. this is hard? And is now reaching a new person with clean water every 30 seconds. <laughs> Through their love and generosity, private donors have pledged to match every dollar donated to the fight for clean water. Join World Vision as they strive to change the lives of children forever. I just want to become a nun. Thank you, what do you teach? Teach. Become a part of someone's story. <laughs>